sharing the medal. This has been my life, and this was the goal that I set for myself. So, check. Uh, it's accomplished, and where do you go from here? I'm not gonna worry about that. Right now, I'm just focusing on enjoying every moment. It's hard to even talk about without getting emotional. I walked into that stadium expecting to see a couple friends and family and some photographers. I think there were 20,000 people in the stadium. It was, I was more nervous walking in there than I was before my run, and that's the honest truth. And watching the flag come up um, through the audience, that's what, that's what the Olympics is about. And you have the medal around your neck, the flag's going up, the anthem's playing, the tears came, and they, did not pour out of my face, but they were filtering out of my eyes the entire time. I, I just knew it was going to go my way. It's my time. Um, I've been working towards this goal, and here I am with a gold medal around my neck. This is my gold medal, and America's first gold medal. It sounds like these medals were punched out of one giant piece of artwork, so no two medals are the same, and I have one piece of a handprint. Um, and it is heavier than you can imagine. Starting in 2006, Torino Olympics, um, there was some pressure on me as a favorite. I was a teenager, a young hope for America. Um, I assumed I was just gonna waltz in and win a medal. I'd won world championships the year before. Three turns after the top air, I exploded out into another line. Olympic dreams over. I wasn't even the top American coming to this event, let alone the top skier in the world. A ton of pressure on Jen Heil but I've had a good feeling about this day all summer. They were disappointed. It was day one and they had really high expectations. The prime minister was in attendance to cheer Jen on um, and she was a really high hope for a gold medal. Uh, to beat her was just satisfying for a million different reasons. That was not my goal to shut Canada out. I'm glad it was my day and I got to uh, prolong their unfortunate streak for one extra day. That's my story.